Forest is Ishamba, okay? And tree is Ijiti. Uh, Rwanda is a very particular country. The country is very overpopulated. Maybe the most highly populated country in Africa with uh, 300, 700 people per square kilometer, certain places. So the forest has been destroyed by the human uh, population, which was a set of uh, agricultural land for agriculture. First of all, what foresters have done, they go to the villages, to the communities, and teach people how to make the nurseries. So nurseries belong to the population. Nurseries are the, the areas where you, you plant small trees. Uh, they, they, you start the small trees before you transplant them to the forest. You have to nurture forest first, the trees first, before taking them to the forest. So those are the nurseries. Pepiniere in French. Okay? So the, the, those the nurseries are done by the population themselves. So they water them, they take care of them, and they see their trees growing every single day. And it's like they are babies. And when they take them to the, to the place where they are being planted, they protect them. So there is really good, uh, good relation between population, knowing also the utilization of the trees, the importance to them. Forest is really in their daily life from morning to evening. Okay. If you think of that you have to eat, you can also think that the forest is also part of that. From in time immemorial, from our history, it's used uh, people you start with uh, honey, you start with uh, medicinal plants, you name them. So our people, our ancestors use this. Uh, uh, not only medicinal plants, but also the food. So we have to conserve the forest. Also for the utilization which we get from the forest. For the interest of the people who are living there. For the interest of the climate change. For our today's use, but also for the generations to come. Because if we continue to exploit the forest as we do now, at the rhythm we do now, it means we are robbing the future generation of the same utilization we have. That's the idea again of the FAO, which is uh, uh, providing or, or assisting countries to get sustainable forest management. This idea of sustainability, it means you can exploit, get some resources from the forest, but at the same time, through this technique of management techniques, ensure that you don't deplete the forest. You don't have to go and cut at all. You can, for example, cut the trees which are mature, but leave those which are small continue to grow. So these are the techniques which FAO uh, is trying to um, popularize in uh, most of the uh, tropical countries. Because I think our most important partner are the population who are living in the forest. Because without them, whatever you can throw money in uh, or them, if they are not convinced of what is being done, nothing will prevent that the forest will be destroyed. So our first partners, first of all, the other population. I think if there is something FAO and some other institutions have managed to do is that in our sensitization program is that we have, we are in contact with schools. Schools which is the future. Schools plant their trees. Schools have celebrate together with the, most of the population, the, the annual year of trees. So if there is something I think which we have managed, FAO and many other partners, I'm not putting all the uh, credit to FAO, but um, what we have managed to do is really ensure that the next generation have from the start, from the young age, have been sensitized to the importance of having trees. And this, I think, is one of the big success we can claim.